Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Kiwi, and today we are drawing Ariel from The Little Mermaid as a Winx Fairy. So let's not waste any time, and hop right into the video. This is the fifth Disney character, Winxified. So as promised, the coloring page pack is available to purchase on my Etsy if you'd like to color them yourself. The link to that is in the description, and don't worry, this isn't the end of the series. I just thought that I would release them in increments of five so that you guys would have them available instead of waiting a long time for a bigger pack. For this speed paint, I decided to skip filming this sketching section because I was in a little bit of a time crunch, but I might continue to go straight into the coloring so I can just show more of it, but please feel free to let me know your thoughts. So for Ariel's design, her pose was meant to be a singing pose where she's kind of channeling her voice and I'm not sure if that would be a singing power or something music and sound related like Musa, but I imagine that it could be similar. For her outfit, I wanted to play up the mermaid ocean theme, but without making her dress a mermaid style dress. Instead, I made her top have fins that trailed behind her, and I colored those with the green teal color of her tail. Originally, I was going to blend it into purple on her top, but you'll see later where I add the purple. I decided to blend into yellow instead to give the piece some lighter tones. I also want to mention that I mainly use Ohuhu and Artify markers in this video, which will all be listed and linked down below in the description if you want to check out the materials. For her wings, I decided to continue with the fin design, and for the colors, I blended yellow to purple, incorporating the purple from her shells into the overall design. I use yellow again because of the crown that I gave her, which represented King Triton's trident with the three spikes. I also wanted to make sure that yellow was evenly balanced throughout her whole design, so I have it in the crown at the top, at the base of her wings, on her top part, and then on the wraps around her feet. So it kind of helps give it a balance overall, and it's not just focused in one area. Blending the wings were a little challenging at some points. The Artify markers aren't a brush tip, so it took a little bit longer to blend, but I think it turned out alright. Let me know if you want to see a video on how to blend with non-brush alcohol markers, and I can make that. My original how to blend with alcohol marker video did use non-brush markers to show that it can be done, but I'm not sure if it came across clearly. For her skirt, I designed and colored it with ocean waves and foam in mind. I used different shades of blue, and I tried to keep the edge of the first layer the lightest to represent the foam that you get when you have ocean waves, and I also added white outline and dots later. Lastly, I colored her hair, and since it was the brightest part of the piece, and the most iconic, I left it for last. When coloring, I made a very slight gradient with a more orangey red tone at the top and a deeper red near the bottom, but I don't think it's super noticeable. I also added some dusty rose colors in between the fins to create a transparent effect, which I have a video tutorial on which will be linked in the eye and the description. I also added a bunch of sparkles to her outfit and wings, similar to how sparkly she is in her final dress at the end of the movie, and just because I felt like I wanted to make it sparkly. Overall, I really like how she turned out. It's actually been a while since I've sat down and finished a piece from color to final touches, but it really made me feel accomplished and I really enjoy it. I really hope you guys like how she turned out too. As a reminder, the link to the coloring page pack is in the description, and if you do color any of my coloring pages, 
please tag me on social media at ikiwi and use the hashtag ikiwicoloring so I can see and share it if you do decide to post it. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more alcohol marker related videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of when I post new videos. I will also be posting a monthly community post where you guys can vote for what video you want to see next. So if you could take the time to vote, that will be really helpful and I'll be sure to produce the videos that's most voted for. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!